right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to Life with B. Davis. Uh, today, we're going to make us a tuna casserole. We're going to make a tuna casserole from scratch. Um, hope that y'all like this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, make sure to like the video uh, and share the video when you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. If you're already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell if you haven't hit it yet. Uh, and that's just to for it to alert you. Um, it would alert you to let you know when every time I uh, upload a video and it does definitely helps to uh, grow the channel and for my views so all right y'all hope y'all enjoy let's get to it all right so first we're going to add our uh, noodles let's get some uh, regular egg noodles add those So we got our tuna patties. I'm not, I'm not using canned tuna. A lot of people use canned tuna, but we're not using any canned tuna. We're using these fresh, these fresh fillets right here. All right, y'all. So we got an onion. I'm going to use uh, frozen broccoli. I'm going to use these frozen uh, peas. We'll cut us up to the onion. Alright, so we have our uh, tuna going, and this is what I'm going to season it with, with the seafood uh, magic. There's some good stuff right here. So we're going to uh, cut my As soon as I get the tuna, uh, some of the tuna cooks through real good. We're gonna add those onions and uh, peas and everything in there. All right, our noodles are done, so we're getting ready to take these off. I'm getting ready to strain them, and then uh, should be good. Then we're gonna start finish working on this tuna. All right. All right, our tuna's cooking is cooking down pretty good. All I'm gonna do is. Go ahead and add my onions. Cause that tuna's all been almost all the way cooked through. So we're gonna go ahead and add the onions in. Alright, we're gonna let them go ahead and rinse. I'm about to go ahead while that's cooking down. I'm getting ready to go ahead and add my peas and my broccoli to it. Get ready to add this broccoli. Get that in there. Yes, sir. Yes. Then we're going to add our peas. Excuse my son in the background, y'all. <laughs> right, now we're going to add our peas to it. Alright, now we're just gonna let that go ahead and cook, y'all. 
then we're gonna add this to our noodles. We almost there, y'all. All right, now we're getting ready to add our uh, some uh, extra virgin olive oil. This is what I cook with all the time. Good and healthy for you. But I'm just gonna put a little bit at the bottom. Pan. Mm. Then what I do is I get a paper towel. gonna make any um, homemade sauce. All I'm using is a uh, cream of mushroom. Some people use cream of chicken, some people use cream of uh, yeah, This is what we're gonna use right here. Cream of mushroom. A lot of people use uh, cream of chicken. You can use cream of chicken with mushroom, but we're just gonna use cream of mushroom for this. It tastes pretty good still. Alright. A 
Uh, right now this bad boy is oven ready. We're going to uh, heat the oven up to 400 and then uh, we're going to let this cook for about like 30-45 minutes. And it might be longer, we don't know, but hopefully about 30-45 minutes. Alright y'all. Alright, there's our final product. Let's shut the oven. Yes or no? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Huh? Thumbs up. All right. Love you, man. <laughs> Tell you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Watch my channel. Subscribe to everybody. Bye. See you next week. Peace. Peace. Yep. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Yes, sir. <laughs>